Hello, my name is Dia Patel and I'm 17 years old. In this presentation, created by myself and my classmate Joanne Ding, I will be discussing food waste, its relevance today, and how we can mitigate it. According to the Food and Agriculture Organization, also known as the FAO of the United Nations, food waste is a decrease in the quantity and quality of food resulting from decisions and actions by food suppliers in the chain, retailers, food service providers, and consumers. The FAO describes wastage of food in four ways. Food that is considered to be ugly or undesirable due to bruising, discoloration, deformities, and etc. is removed from the supply chain during sorting operations, even when it is completely fine to eat. Foods that are on the best before date are often discarded by retailers and consumers, even when the date hasn't been reached yet or when the food is still completely fine to eat. Edible leftovers are discarded. Foods are mass purchased and go bad because they could not have been used in time. What separates food wastage from food disposal is that food waste is entirely preventable. Whether caused by mass producing manufacturers or irresponsible consumers, food waste is a global issue that should not exist. Fast facts. The global volume of edible food wastage is estimated at 1.3 billion tons. The carbon footprint of food wastage is estimated at 3.3 billion tons of carbon dioxide released into the atmosphere per year. 1.4 billion hectares of land, which is 28% of the world's agricultural area, is used annually to produce food that is lost or wasted. Agriculture is responsible for a majority of threats to endangered plant and animal species. The direct economic consequences of food wastage, excluding fish and seafood, cost $750 billion annually. These and many more statistics show that food waste is a problem that affects not only humans, but all sorts of species, including the climate and habitats that they live in. Background and History of Food Waste between the late 1800s and 1914, industrialization and manufactured foods made it more convenient to access food, which led to the start of food waste. After World War II, new technologies such as refrigerators, chemical fertilizers, and industrialized processes made food to be more abundant and affordable, which also made it more easy for people to waste. This led to overproduction due to high demand, making food waste a more prominent issue. As technology has advanced throughout the 21st century, people began to pay more efforts to avoid food waste. Why is food waste relevant? The amount of food that is being wasted is more than sufficient to feed the people that are starving. Currently, the food wasted in the US state Iowa, for example, is enough to feed every single starving person in Mongolia, with several tons of extra food left over, despite the huge size difference between the two land units. Currently, Americans waste 20 million slices of bread, 5.2 million glasses of milk, 4.4 million potatoes, 2.2 million slices of ham, 1.2 million potatoes, and 900,000 bananas daily. Less food waste means more efficient land use and better water management. This in turn impacts climate change, human health, and the habitats and shelters that all organisms rely on. Food waste is entirely negative, but it benefits people with a surplus access to food. Because of the mass production that leads to food waste, consumers are more satisfied with the quality of the food. Food looks and tastes more appealing because seemingly defective foods are thrown away. Food manufacturers create more profit from productions at larger scales. Foods in the present day have better packaging and better taste at lower prices because of modern technology. Due to these factors, people that have the privilege to impact global food production are less likely to work towards mitigating food waste, because they are the ones that benefit from it. There are, of course, far more downsides than upsides to food waste. More food waste can lead to a higher governmental cost when disposing the waste, which can lead to increased taxes, while this is also wasting natural resources. Food waste disposal also emits excess land pollution and greenhouse gases, which leads to climate change, a greater environmental issue. 
Excess food is also wasted by consumers buying more food than they need. This leads to the uneven distribution of food resources between different regions of the world, where starvation and poverty in less fortunate countries actually increase from their lack of access, despite so much food being wasted in other countries. Because of the cheaper prices of the food, farmers also get less profit. Some examples of food waste. New York City restaurants, in total, account for the largest food waste on the commercial side. They generate close to half a million tons of food waste per year, enough to, fit, to fill well over 100 subway cars per day. United Kingdom households waste an estimated 6.7 million tons of food every year, around one-third of the food purchased. This means that approximately 32% of all food purchased per year is not eaten. The food currently wasted in Europe could feed 200 million people. That's roughly equivalent to the population of Brazil, the sixth most populous country in the world. Inefficient processing, poor storage, and insufficient infrastructure are factors in food waste in sub-Saharan Africa. Post-harvest food losses are estimated to be worth 4 billion US dollars per year, or enough to feed at least 48 million people. This map illustrates places that are the most food insecure, mainly Africa and South and Southeast Asia. If we go to the next slide, we can see that the areas that are most food insecure are inversely connected to the largest food wasters. Africa and South or Southeast Asia waste the least because they have the least food to spare, while North America, Russia, and Australia seem to have the greatest wastage. Here are some current events also related to the topic. On July 16, 2021, the Zero Food Waste Act was passed. This act provide, provided grants to reduce food waste, and the goal was to reduce food waste by 50% by 2030. On September 2021, the School Food Recovery Act was passed, and this provided nationwide grants for food waste management in schools. In early 2022, California passed Senate Bill 1383. California is the first state in the United States to officially introduce mandatory food waste recycling and salvaging of edible food waste. Here is one mitigation strategy that anybody can do to wasteless food, composting. Basically, with composting, you can use any type of plant waste to improve the structure and health of your soil. More than a quarter of all waste in landfills, 28% could have been composted. If every single person in America composts, this has the same effect as removing 7.8 million cars from roads. How to compost. First, designate a bin or a hole in the ground for composting. Two, add soil and plant waste to your compost bin. Three, every few weeks mix your compost and eventually it will turn into a very dark looking soil and you should use this to fertilize soil in your garden. Do compost parts of a plant that you would normally throw away, or that are perfectly edible to eat, such as onion skin, banana peels, or grass after mowing the lawn. Uneaten food, such as half-eaten salad, or etc., is also acceptable. Do not compost dairy, meat, bones, or diseased plant matter, because this can attract animals or spread more disease. You can keep adding plant waste to your compost again and again, and it will keep over the winter as well. You won't need to buy plant fertilizer for your gardens either because compost is a natural fertilizer, which can save your own money as well. It's really not very difficult to manage a compost bin, and you could be making a huge difference by doing so. Every American household wastes about 20, 250 pounds of food per year, and instead of that food going to a landfill, it could go into composting and making your own garden healthier. With composting, every person can really make a difference. A concluding fact is that in the world as a whole, one-third of the food we produce is wasted, and less than one billion people are starving, which is one-eighth of the population. And yet, despite these numbers existing for over a century, little to nothing has been done about the very prevalent global crisis of food wastage and its management. Only recently have measures started to be taken to solve this problem. If a whole third of our population wastes food, and one-eighth of the population cannot access enough, it can't be immensely difficult to cancel these numbers out for a happy, healthy, and well-fed world. All we need to do is start. Compost. Volunteer at a local food bank. Buy only as much food as needed. Donate to the cause and petition against large manufacturers. 
We have the privilege to be able to eat well, but that does not mean we can take food as granted. Together, we as a world need to work together to end food waste. These are our references. And thank you so much for watching this presentation. We hope that you will keep food waste in mind as you eat your next meal.